Hey everybody, it's Mike coming to you from Vaught RV. I've got beside me a 2023 J Feather 30 QB. This is the longest J Feather on planet Earth. It's the longest J Feather you can buy. Don't think that it's 30 feet long, even though it's a 30 QB. It's 37 feet long and about 7,300 pounds, depending on options. But this is a family J Feather. If you've got little kiddos to sleep, want to take the whole family and everybody sleeps in comfort, this might be the ticket for you. Even though it's 37 feet long, remember, well under 8,000 pounds dry weight. So uh, again, we're, we're taking a sneak peek at this 2023 model. I'm going to point out some differences in 2023 as we go around and point out some popular things that Jayco's held over. We're on an Asdell fiberglass exterior out here. We have power and a TV mount so we can enjoy television on the outside. Six gallon direct spark ignition, uh, water heater, your furnace assembly. And this has got a pretty decent outside kitchen. Now outside kitchens have kind of evolved over time and even the definition of what exactly is an outside kitchen. Um, but we have a sink here with a faucet. This is just a little basin sink that you can pop this out, toss the water out there. A little cutting board with some storage under it. We have a drink refrigerator in here and then a utensil drawer as well. Now, moving into 2023, various Jayco models are offering inverter prep for the outside refrigerator. So if you're off grid, camping completely off grid and still wanna power the refrigerator, if you have an inverter optioned on your unit, then you can and in fact have a refrigerator staying cold on the outside. Now, since we have an outdoor kitchen assembly, we have a J port. And if you have a J port on an outside kitchen assembly, that means I can put a griddle in there so I can be cooking, I can grab a beverage, and I have my faucet and sink here, everything that you need to do in a traditional outside kitchen. I have two awnings over here. This is what I call the fun side of the RV. There's no slide on this side of the unit to protrude into the fun side of the camper. That's important. Whenever you have a slide, you're taking up valuable real estate on the side where the campfire and the picnic table and the bingo game and all that stuff is happening over here. There is no slide on this side, but plenty of awning coverage. Uh, we're bumping up against 30 feet of awning coverage on this side. So really fantastic. Um, let's go ahead and go inside and I'm going to point out some neat features about this floor plan as well as some new things in 2023. So let's go have a look. Let's just go right to the prize. One thing that distinguishes this from its other J Feather brethren is this really neat bunk room. It's not very big, but it sleeps a lot of folks, a lot of kids. So I have an L shaped up here. So I got a kiddo that can sleep here, a kiddo can sleep here, one here. And then I've also got this, which is a trifold that makes into a sleeping surface as well. Now this is neat, has a little cup holder in the middle. And as is a signature with a lot of uh, other J feathers, I have a little table slot right here to store an outside table. And then Jayco has added these drawers under here for storage, much like you saw on White Hawks in the past. If you want to add a TV, right here is where it would go. Storage up here and storage down here. Thank you, Jayco, for adding shelves in here. Instead of just an open cavity like this, now we have shelves. Speaking of which, if you see stuff that you'd like to see added, a feature you like, don't like, thumbs up, thumbs down, drop a comment below. Uh, Jayco pays attention to these, especially when I pointed out to Jayco and I had one of the reps stop by today and say, hey, by the way, I listened to you and now he reeled off all these changes that Jayco has made, like putting medicine cabinets in some of the fifth wheels and things. So anyway, your, your comments are important. And they are, uh, we, we pay attention to them. Most, most importantly, Jayco pays attention to them. Now in 2023, you're going to start seeing a lot more USB ports everywhere. Everybody's got gadgets these days. Cell phones need to be charged and, uh, and you got a place to do it there. Now this unit, this floor plan has a door right here. So I can be loading stuff into this bunk area from outside of the coach. Also, you'll notice 
that it's already th not just thin shade prepped, but it's got a thin shade in it already for uh, blackout and for privacy. This is a deadbolt on it too for security. There's actually a little bit of storage right along here too. There's a little uh, hinged shelf up there, shelves down here, shelves down there. Great place for shoes and stuff. All right, well, this is, this is unique. It's the first one I've seen. We've never had one on the lot, got some on order. Now into the galley, we have this fridge and the dinette in a slide out. So it opens this up very nicely. Chances are you're gonna have several folks in here if you got this bunk room. So you're gonna have a couple kids, three, four kids or whatever. So people are moving around in here. If you haven't bought an RV before, my advice is to think how you're going to use it. Think what you're going to be doing in it. How many people are going to be moving about? Are you going to stay for one or two nights at a time or weeks at a time? All those things are going to help you determine what floor plan makes sense for you. There are so many floor plans to choose from in the J Feather line alone. There are nine different floor plans. Jayco does their best, every manufacturer does their best to put the features that most people are going to want in various packages. Um, so anyway, do your research, think about how you're going to use it. Now we have an L-shaped kitchen here, which is nice and functional. A double basin sink here with a high-rise matte black finish on it. Um, smoked glass inserts in the cabinetry. Jayco's long been famous for their cabinet build. These are solid maple uh, cabinet doors. Also on the drawer fronts, these are all solid maple. Ball bearing, full extension drawer glides always on a Jayco. So a lot of storage. The appliance package is gonna be consistent from uh, 2022. However, you'll notice now it's stainless steel stainless on the microwave, stainless on the range hood, which is vented and lighted, and stainless across the front of here. Um, it's a three burner cooktop, and this is cool. We have a knife rack back here, so you can safely stow knives in there behind the cooktop. Hmm, Memphis style barbecue. So I'm getting kind of hungry, aren't you? <laughs> So uh, yeah, little oven here and storage uh, below there. Um, decent, uh, a decent amount of prep, prep area here. Not a ton of prep area, um, but it's a decent amount of prep area. I like this backsplash. They're holding this over from 2022. I think mostly because I bragged on it so much. Uh, it looks like real tile, but it's not. It's smooth. The first time I saw it, I swore it was real tile as a 3D look, but it is actually just a nice backsplash material. Now, moving into 2023, every 32 and 39 inch TV on Flights and Feathers is going to be a smart TV. So if you have a TV that's 32 inches or 39, it'll be a smart TV. Uh, consistent from 22 is an uh, IRV stereo insert that is Bluetooth. You can stream music uh, and push music to the speakers out outside or through the speakers up here. And again, thank you, Jayco, for putting a shelf in here. How, sim how hard was that, right? So now we have a shelf in here and we can store you know, books. Uh, if you're still watching DVDs and those kind of things, you can put them in here. You can never have too much storage in an RV. And there's a little bit more up here, not real deep, but I'll take it since it's right next to the kitchen. Might be a good place for cereal boxes and camping supplies. All right, let's go back to the bath and the bedroom area. We Now that we're in this J-Feather line, I have a glass shower enclosure. This helps keep the doors, or it does keep the doors closed during travel so they're not banging together going down the road. So one, I always recommend making a checklist before you leave. If you want a checklist, I'll send it to you complimentary. Just drop a comment below or send me an email. I have a pre-trip checklist and this is on it, checking shower doors, um, things that you need to pack before a trip. Um, make your own checklist, print off a whole bunch or put it on your phone. I do it every time we leave the house because I promise you I'll forget something otherwise. So this would be on the checklist. Make sure that's secured. 
So it's a corner shower assembly. I'm six feet tall. Um, this is a little bit shorter than what you see in White Hawk units and Eagles and above. I'm six feet tall, so if I'm six five ish, is about the maximum height I can be here in here in this skylight. Uh, room enough to maneuver in here, I think. You have your sink and medicine cabinet above there. And we have a foot flush plastic uh, toilet down here. Everything that Jayco does, everything that every manufacturer does has two things in mind. Weight and cost are always a factor. And that's why we have some of these uh, features. Now, big door here with a lot of storage for linens, washcloths, maybe extra clothes. Perfect place to toss those shoes down there. Moving up into the bedroom, and I have a separate entrance here in the bedroom so I can access the bedroom from the patio side as well. Right away, see we have USB access on either side of the bed as well as household current. Um, this unit's been staged, so I'll carefully move that just to show you. You can hang shirt hanging closet there, and then I've got uh, storage over here too. Now you'll notice right behind the area back here, there's a blue light, which makes a great night light, but also it's a perfect, I'll pull that out of the way. It's a perfect place to put a bottle of water, a book and that kind of thing back there out of the way. So it's kind of a nightstand area. You do have this little space like that book is staged nicely. Um, so you can lay a book down there. Now there's power, like I said, on either side of the bed. Jayco is very cognizant of the fact that many people have CPAP machines. And so it's gonna be rare that a Jayco model won't be uh, designed so that you can utilize the CPAP machine. If you wanna put a TV right here's the backer location. We have power and coax up here. So if you wanna put a TV that you would provide, you can do that. We can certainly add that for you. All right, so remember, we're in a 30 QB that's actually 37 feet long. Remember, uh, I should do a video on this. Uh, a lot of folks, oh, hey, I need to point this out. This is a big bonus. Boom, look at all that storage and a motion light yet to boot. So use this any way you need to, right? Pantry, extra camping supplies, shoes on the bottom, uh, timeout area, right? All right, um, this is this is equipped with the J command system right here, so you can control all the features from that J command um, lighting and so on right there. Anyway, 30 QB, we're actually 37 feet long. I'll do a video sometime on how how the whole industry does models that are a few numbers short of the actual length. In this case, seven. It's actually 37 feet long, about 7,300 pounds. Um, hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, I mean, even if you haven't and you feel like being generous, if you want to click like and subscribe below, I would appreciate it. We work hard to bring these videos to you. Always enjoy hearing from you. You drop a comment below. Uh, that way you'll be the first to know when we post more videos just like this. Again, my name is Mike from Vod RV. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching our video. If you have any questions or any suggestions on content you'd like to see, leave a comment below. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks again from Vod RV.